Browner with Music Mix Daily, and we are here in Nashville, Tennessee with Kelsey Lamb. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Are you enjoying this heat? No. <laughs> no? Summer has started here in Nashville. Aggressively. Aggressively. Yes. I think we're going to be 91 today. Yeah. So, but you look beautiful. Thank you. It's so good to see you. You too. Um, you have a new single. I do. Coming out. Came out. Came out. Well, like a month, month ago now? Yeah. Came out. A little bit. It's hot. It's, it's, it's great, it's actually. It's great. Thank you. Um, girl in a bar. Girl at the bar. Girl at yeah. the bar. I don't know yeah. anything today. You're good. Really. It's, it's the, this really is, is the heat. This I'm is like why lethargic right now. I just get to ask <laughs> the questions. Um, so tell us about it because um, I read a little bit about it and I think that you mentioned somewhere that you wrote this song about... Um, Past breakups, things that mm. you've gone through, and yeah. um, when I read that, I thought, yeah, I yeah. think a lot of people are going to relate to this. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about what went into the writing of this song. Yeah. I know you do a lot of writing. I do. I yeah. think you have an EP coming out, yes. and of the six songs on it, you co-wrote five of them. Yes, Is that correct? I did, yeah. So you're a big writer. Mm -hmm. So tell us about what went into the writing of this great song. Um, so for Girl at the Bar, I wrote this song with Taylor Goyette and John Nolan. I write with them usually every Friday for the past two and a half years. Um, and uh, I came up with this idea when I was actually at a CMT Next Women of Country event last year. And I was listening to all the girls sing their heartbreak songs and you know, <laughs> wanting really badly to relate to them and like be able to write songs like they do. And I was like, I just really need to write a song about how I handle heartbreak. Mm -hmm. And so I handle heartbreak by myself in my room watching Netflix, <laughs> you know, and I think a lot of people handle yeah. it like that, but a lot of people don't write about it. Yeah. So I just kind of wrote from the perspective of like what I don't do when my heart's broken. So that's right. kind of what the song's about. Just yeah. like all the things that I kind of wish I did to like, you know, get over it easier and like go out and just tell the whole world about it. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of what it's about. Just how I deal with myself. Yeah. So, it's yeah. good. Thank you. I like it a lot. Thank you. I like it a lot. So you grew up in Arkansas. I did. Born and raised. Born and raised. Mm -hmm. How long have you been here? Uh, I'm going on three years. It's like two and a half, three. And you like it? I love it. Don't you love it here? I love it. Yeah. Yes. I feel like you just like settled right in. Yeah. Just in the brief time that I've talked, been talking to you. Yeah. No, it definitely feels like home. I mean, the first six months was like, where am I? I'm an alien. But it's, yeah, it feels like home. I love it. Yeah. There's and a lot of transplants close. here. So it's, yeah. I feel like it's easy to acclimate. See, I thought there would be a lot more people from Arkansas here. Yeah. And there's not. Really? Yeah. And we're only like three hours from Arkansas. That's so, interesting. I'm yeah. From LA. And there's, I find I, there's a lot of people home. from LA. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. You think it's the true. other way around. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Weird. So you started performing when you were really young, like 10. Yes. How did that come to be? Oh, my mom made me. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's the other way around. My mom didn't let me until I could do this, that, oh, or the other. Oh, God, no. She was like... <laughs> Like my all of my siblings can sing. Oh, so wow. every single one of us can sing. Me and my older brother are the only ones that really like wanted to make a career out of it. Wow. Um, but my mom was putting me and all of my siblings in church choir and mm -hmm. talent shows and forcing me. And I was really shy growing up. Mm -hmm. Like did not want anyone to see me like ever. Was so, that part of the reason why she pushed you a little bit? Maybe like she was yeah. hoping to like get you out of your shell. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. many siblings? Uh, there's six of us all together. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I don't know if the youngest one can sing. He's adopted. So probably not. He's going <laughs> to be the one that can't sing. Yeah. <laughs> but he's the outgoing one, so. Okay. You know, that's fun. We're all shy. He's oh, really? Outgoing. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. That's hilarious. It's weird. Okay, so mom made you, and yes. I assume at some point you started enjoying it? Yeah, honestly, not until, like, after I graduated college. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And you've done a lot of acting. I have. That's kind of what got me into being comfortable. I did oh, okay. the Toy Shop musical with Alan Thicke like four or five years ago, maybe three or four, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, and he kind of took me under his wing and mm -hmm. like helped break me out of my awkwardness. Well, that's, he that's attempted, awesome. you know, because mm -hmm. it feels like I'm out of it. I might not be. I don't know. Um, I think but you're yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, that's when I really started to like love being on stage and yeah. all of that stuff. So, yeah. And you've been on that's stage good. with some fun people. I have. Yeah. Yeah. And Kenny Rogers. You yeah. Kenny Rogers. I did. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. It was really amazing. It was really cool. Probably the coolest thing I've done. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Say. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. So let's go back to the new EP. Okay. Tell us about that. So, like you said, there's six songs on it. Girl at the Bar is on it. Um, and my first single, Little by Little, is actually on it in, like, a new version. Oh, really? So okay, different. that's cool. 
it's I think it's cool. It's yeah. really cool. It's just a little bit more like R and B country ish. Yeah. So it's different. Um, but that's on there, and it's like the whole story of the EP is just kind of like me going from having my heart broken to starting to fall back in love. Okay. So it's just that I story like that. of all of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I think it's cute. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I love it. That's awesome. Thank okay, you. Okay, so we've got CMA Fest coming up pretty soon. Yes. And you're ready for that? I am. Not you have the a heat, lot going on. Not but... the heat. No, never the heat. Maybe we'll get some reprieve. Probably not. No. Maybe. Maybe it'll rain. Maybe. Yeah. I hope it doesn't rain. But night. then it'd be like steamy. Maybe it, it's just better to be hot. I feel bad for those poor people that, and for everybody, all of us. <laughs> but at night, people. there's like, well, there's, you know, 100,000 people yeah. in the stadium and they're all so excited and then it rains. Oh, and yeah. they dine trash bags and stuff because nobody's ever completely prepared for that. I've never really done CMA Fest. No. Like last year I was here for one day because my brother got married on the weekend of CMA Fest. And so I was inside the whole time. I've never done like the outdoor CMA. That's some of the best part. Yeah. This is my first year. We don't year. get to do enough of that because we're inside a lot. Yeah. But the years that I've gotten to do the outdoor part, I always say that's the most fun. Yeah. I mean, it really is. There's so much talent on all of these stages outside. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's just amazing. So yeah, if you get to spend more time outside, that's the best. Oh, yeah. But what are you doing? What kind of things will you be doing that people can find you? Um... I will be playing a lot, so my schedule, I'm sure, will be out soon. Um, I'm playing, online, like, sure. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, that's Saturday awesome. Fest. So I'll be yeah. playing, like, downtown free shows. Nice. So, yeah. Yeah, and will cool. you go to the stadium at night? I don't know. I hope so. Yeah. Maybe. At least, at least <laughs> you should at least go, like, once or twice. And yeah. Play. Yeah, it's I've fun. definitely never done that. I've, oh, you like, have, seen you videos. Try, you should try to go. Yeah. It's, it's definitely... It's definitely an experience. Yeah. It's fun. You get to go dance around. I've heard it's good things. It's good. Yeah. And then, you know, after the stadium, there's more stuff to do. Oh, my gosh. There, there's, there's more stuff to do. No one sleeps during CMA. Fest. No, you have to start <laughs> sleep. Power sleep now. Yeah. Sleep, Rest take up. your vitamins, hydrate really well. Yeah. <laughs> there's Ugh. lots to do. So tell us where we can find you online. You can find me at KelseyLamb.com. And then all of my social media is Kelsey Lamb Music. So, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Pretty easy to find me. Yeah. All right, well, we will link all of that on our website and cool. uh, elsewhere. And thank you so much for thank coming you. out today in this heat. It's so, yeah. it's so nice to talk to you about this music. And it's thank really you. good. So, if you haven't um, downloaded the music, check it out. It's on, I assume, Apple Music. I know it's on Apple Music because it's that's everywhere. where I got it. So, yeah. I assume it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And uh, it's really good and lots of fun. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>